to the water Oh, I can get the water tank! Fuck yeah! Yes, absolutely! Yeah, yeah! Make a splash! A blast of fresh water will calm down any slime for a short while or dissolve those terrible tar slimes. A watered garden's crops also grow faster. Oh! I wonder if that has any effect for the fact that I also have the sprinkler. Thing is, the water slimes only eat, you know, water. Which you would think would be cannibalism for them, but yeah, whatever, I don't judge. <gasps> No, 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 their food thing is empty. Their food thing is empty. I wasn't even gone that long, I didn't think. Okay, good, you're not starving at least. Now I wonder if I can fill up my water reservoir from the slime sea. Well, only one way to find out, I guess. No, okay, well it was worth a try. Worth a try. There we are. Water! Your slimes are bad, they really need it. Hey, don't be rude of my slides. Between running and my jetpack, I'm really abusing my sprint bar. Okay, okay, they're good, they're good. Now I am gonna replace the Q-berries with the pomegranates. Bye, yes. Because they love pe pomegranates more than anything. We're facing another dilemma here. We got one, two, we got three corrals with non-largo slimes in it and I'm thinking of adding another one for these puddle slimes but the thing is puddle slimes can't largo with anything. Puddle and fire slimes can't be largoed with anything. And the problem is that I don't have space for any of this. Like looking at our map right here these are both uh, food. This one's chickens, this one's storage. Corral, 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 corral. Going to the den. Corral, food, food, eventually corral and storage. My best guess would be this area is where I would have to... And I really gotta find a different way to automate this. Spring grass. Spring grass will help the chickens poof in... Or the chicks poof into chickens faster. Well, let's put a corral together. With an air net first before high walls. We can get both. Okay, good. Eventually a plort collector, but that's okay. We don't need to get there yet. We are completely broke. Oh my god, I didn't realize I spent all our money. I want to get some refiner links put up so I don't have to keep making trips home. Alright, I wish you could put markers on the map. I can think I said that before, but like, not just to mark where shit is, but to like, have little beacons so you know where you're going. Oh, I can test this now. Fuck you. Two shots. That's all it takes to kill these assholes. Good. I can't collect- oh! Oh, I can, I can, okay. Oh god, oh god, I did not think I was gonna make that for a sec. Just cause I had- I wasn't at full- I wasn't at full stamina when I jumped. Okay. We made it to here. Let's see what's here. Okay, this is kind of, uh, reminiscent of the first game when they're- when there's like the mosaic or the uh, glitchy uh, slimes. So I saw something in the distance. That way over there, is that... Is that just a set dressing or is that like a legit thing? I think that might be a legit thing. Yeah, I think that's where that uh, one enters. So that's like the dawn area. The dawn dusk area, okay. That over there is where I entered from, I do believe. Yes, it is. There's not... I mean, I wouldn't say this area is pointless, but there's nothing new here. There's not, like, a puzzle thing for opening the door. There's not... I mean, it's interesting to see it, but, like, there's no... Not, like, a lore... A thing. I don't see a, a drone anywhere that's like, oh, I, I didn't mean to stumble across this ancient architectural thing. Oh, wait, I do hear it. I hear the drone. Ooh. Oh, this is risky. Oh, I don't like this. Is it down there? Here we go. Hey, buddy. The first time I was here, I turned this entire ruined complex into a beautiful garden. I'd never know the original purpose to this place, but I thought its creators might be happy knowing that far into the future, someone was making sure it still had purpose. There's no time for that now, but I am going to at least plant some of my favorite flowers right here and hope that in time they'll flourish and cover these ruins once more. 
Maybe if I ever make it back home, I can see it myself. It's favorite flowers, huh? Well, they are pretty. I don't think they overtook the place, though. Either that or they, uh... It wasn't that long ago that these were planted. Oh, uh, there's a geyser there. Oh, but it's so risky. Look it! Oh. Oh, God, that scared me. What the fuck? The music changed. That was a very sudden change in music for a second. Kitty Fosbys, I'm gonna have one of you someday! I won't lie, I was a little disappointed with this discovery. Normally these little ruin areas have like a lot more to them. There is another new slime that I know about, kind of, that I haven't discovered yet that I want to. And I don't want to look up where it is because I don't want to spoil it for myself. Ow, fuck you. Hello, cave. I don't know if I've been in here before. No, I don't think I have. Let's take ourselves a little peek. Ooh, purple. Love it. Okay, so that's where pomegranates grow. I recognize that tree. I hear the chirping of a lore thing. Oh, it's so red and- <gasps> Oh my god. Fire ones! Fire ones, fire ones, fire ones, fire ones. It's on here, on here. Boom slimes! They explode! These guys! We got batty booms! The boom slimes eat meats because they're volcanic! Of course now! Of course! We're on... We're on Ember Island! Ember Island is volcanic! Oh, see that thing here in a minute. This is an example of how the crystal Largos don't fucking work in this game. Look! It's just the tech, the crystal texture on a boom slime. This is what I saw with my honey slimes before when I was experimenting. When it rolls up into a ball, it's just a blue ball. It doesn't look good. The game is still in early access, I get that, but still, this doesn't look good at all. I really hope they fix their textures. I get it, it's hard to make crystals look good on things, but still. When it doesn't look good, it couldn't be more obvious. I feel at home- <laughs> Are you sure you feel at home here, man? There's- with like the fire exploding slimes. I feel at home here. When I traveled across the glass desert, it was caves just like this one that gave me shelter and allowed me to survive my trek. Glass desert! That's from the first game! They are like- it, it was like this beautiful uh, scene- scenario where like- uh, it would have solar flares and whatnot. Just feeling walls around me and solid ground beneath my feet gave me all the security I needed to close my eyes and make it through another night. But I can do without some of it. Like, if I ever even smell roasted cactus again, I'm pretty sure I'd barf. <laughs> so this person was at the glass desert? They were in the first game? Oh, hello. Oh god, that's lava. I don't think I should step on that. I don't think you want to come for me, man. I don't think you want to come for me. I tried to warn you, man. Great, I'm out of water. Well, not quite out of, I'm low on. Still, this is interesting. This is Ember Island, and this is the first instance we've seen of the booms. In this game, anyway. The ferals. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, this is pretty. Oh, you are not pretty. Oh, you guys are angie boys. Look, I know you're hungry, but I am not the solution to your needs. Ow. He exploded in my face. Oh, this is what I saw before with the smoke! Man urinates on fellow passenger for not being allowed to smoke. Ugh. This area could 100% kill me. If only because of, uh, the, because of the combination of them being angry and exploding! Out of here! And I don't know if I'm safe to walk on any of this. I'm scared to. Of course they would have the boom tabbies be, uh, ferals. They eat nothing but meat. Alright, uh... I'm gonna refill my water. I gotta refill my water. Okay, I guess I'm not refilling my water. 
Go calm down. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't know how much of this is safe and what's not. Jesus Christ, okay. Alright, well this is scary, but also a little exciting. This is new, kind of. The booms aren't new, they were in the first game, but this lava area... Oh, booms and crystals, that makes so much sense. I love the sense of danger here. I could abs- uh, No, I couldn't. Fire! Fire! God damn it! God damn it! Uh, go away, primordial oil! I need fire slimes! Oh god, oh god. No, I don't want a briar chickadoo. I want fire slimes. Yes, yes. I mean, briar hens are also new, kind of, but they're like... I don't need those right now. Where am I, even? I'm even further down Amber Island. Oh god, this is so neat. This is so cool. This is so dangerous, and I love it. And god, I need a place for my water and fire ones. I mean, it wouldn't look good, but I guess I could combine boom with, uh, crystals. Alright, uh, cards on the table. I'm looking for flutter slimes, which I really don't think I'm in the right area for. That seems like something that would be in the other area. Because they introduced a lot of new slimes in this one. Well, new in quotes, but you know. They got anglers here, they got booms, they got crystals, they got baddies. If the flutters are gonna be anywhere, I'd expect them to be in the uh, other area, the radiant whatever. God, none of this is safe for me right now, but I can't stop. I love it. This, it, this type of adventuring is what I've been waiting for, and now that I have my jetpack that I have to be careful with because I'm abusing the shit out of it, I want more. I want to see more. <gasps> Boom, Gordo! I'd need even more meat to feed it. But look at what could be beyond that. Ooh, looks like that's close to the edge of the map, actually. Oh, God! Oh, I don't want to go in there. I don't want to risk anything. This isn't a good safe place for me. My flesh is easily burnable. So I know flutter, uh, flutter slimes exist, but I don't know where to find them is the issue. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Let go of me, let go of me, please. Oh fuck! Oh fuck. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh god, please stay away from me. I cannot believe I survived that. That is what happens when you get too damn cocky with your jetpack. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, uh, uh, no, no, no. Thank you. Ow, oh, fuck. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, 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 no, 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 no more, please. Okay, I'm going the right way to get out of here. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm abusing my stamina bar so goddamn much. Okay, so in this area where there's, okay, it's, there's a path over to the fire area, okay. There's guys, there's, there's a path. Oh god. Let's get the fuck out of here before something else tries to kill me. Before something starts shoving me into the slime sea. I can't believe how many times I've dipped my toes into the lava and somehow came out alive. I was down at I was down at 30 health at one point. Not gonna make it, damn it. But you know 30 health doesn't seem all that bad. But it's below half, which is fucking scary for me, okay? So I only have one inventory space to work with, which is not good. So it's hard to combine the crystals with anything because it won't look good. But 
but there is the distinct possibility that I could just do it anyway. Because at the very least then these guys would be making two plorts instead of one each. I don't want to combine them with these guys because these guys only eat meat and the booms only eat meat as well so they would just be eating meat purely in just that. And these guys flash and they also and the booms would explode but I don't want these guys to explode they're cute and I love them. But the crystals are dangerous anyway, so why not just also have them explode? I don't think they cook their food when they explode. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it that way. 